Hello planner people, it's Plan with Nairi and I've got a different spread for you today. I've got a reuse and repurpose spread. So I'm gonna be using my spare discs I have here, which are no good anymore in the sense that they're kind of like quite rubbed off here. So I won't be using them again for my planner. So I've already tried making sure that they will stick okay and they will. So I'll just grab those for you. Let's just get my stuff a little bit nearer. I've stuck down some red card on the left hand side of my dashboard. So this is a big capsule dashboard and I am going to be using some dot grid paper which I've just cut up from a, a journaling happy planner. So I'm reusing that. So that's two different things I'm reusing. And I have used a magazine that I had through for one of the organisations that I support and it has some really beautiful pictures in here of different children so I'm thinking along the lines of love but not necessarily a partner or husband type of love but a love for shall we say the world at large shall we should we go down that route and I have some lots of those pictures cut out ready to organise on the right hand side all right so the first thing that I did was have this, I'm just gonna move this one here for a minute, this one here, which, so what I'm gonna do on here is have priorities for the week. So I've been doing some daily planning and I've also been doing some color block on my channel, so you can check that out if you like. The daily planning I've really enjoyed. So I thought I'd do something a bit different this week and have seven priorities. So I've used this happy memory keeping book here. The only stickers I'm using are from here for the hearts which are going to go one to seven for each day so that I've got a priority for each day if you sort of see what I mean so I'm going to use those on each of those and then I have my word priority here so I think the first thing to do is I'm going to get these dot grids stuck down I probably won't do them completely straight because I don't kind of like really symmetrical stuff so um, don't worry if you are a symmetrical person and it stresses you out, it probably will, but I'll probably scatter them so that I can scatter the discs as well, if you, if you, if you see what I mean. So let's get this one on first. That one I will put in the corner where you'd expect it to be. I'll put that one there. Number two can kind of go here. put that one there so I hope you guys are well and doing okay it's really hard to believe that we're heading for February I think I feel like all the new year stuff is kind of disappearing now and we're much more heading toward the spring hopefully um, so that'll be lovely I love the spring uh, put that one there so hopefully I'll be able to get chatting to you in a minute, but for the minute I just want to get this laid out in the way that I want. One here. So I thought it would be really nice to do a reuse, repurpose spread. I have done a no sticker spread, which I'll link the end of the video so that you can go into that one. That literally was no stickers at all. Um, but sometimes you just want a change anyway, don't you, from creating your normal spreads. And I just felt like I wanted to do something different for my capsule because my capsule planner is the one that I decorate every week without fail, even if I don't put it on my channel, which I generally do. I always decorate my capsule. Whereas some of my other planners, if I'm not doing a project, for example, I won't do my project planner. So yeah, this one always gets done and I like to bring the changes sometimes. Uh, I think that's okay. So what I find when I block out a spread like this, so block out the left hand side, is you really do need the white paper to lift onto it and you need quite big sections of it for it to kind of work. That's what I think anyway. So, put that one there. I'm 
Picking one of those isn't straight, but I'm not gonna change it because I've got a lot to do on this spread and I don't wanna be faffing around too much, to be honest with you. Uh, put that one there. So the idea for this came up when I was thinking about the fact that I've done a monthly, which is like a Valentine's heart thing. I felt I wanted to keep going with the Valentine's, but not so much with the traditional kind of, um, you know, the way we think of Valentine's sometimes. I wanted to do something a little bit different, a bit more thought provoking maybe, I think I was going for. I'll do that one there. And also, I've done a little bit of housework this morning and a little bit was enough, you know what I'm saying? Like housework is so uninteresting, isn't it? Let's be honest. I know some people like it and you might be one of those people. <clears throat> I, f I feel like it gets me quite naggy. Naggy? Let's put that two in there. It gets me frustrated because we have two still quite young boys living in the house and they're going to come back from football in a minute and there's just going to be mud everywhere. No matter what we do, there will be mud everywhere. So it's like, well, do I want to spend loads of time doing housework when I know that it's not going to last very long? Or do I want to enjoy time with you guys and get my spread down, done? Well, it was a no-brainer. It really was. Okay, so... Let's get that in there like that. I think this is a really good idea. Like I'm not gonna do after the pen today, but I am gonna put a priority for each day, which is what I think daily planning does for you. It makes you just really home in on that one priority. And Monica, if you're watching, we discussed this, didn't we? Like getting one thing a day sometimes, especially if you have reasons why you might not be able to do so much, then one thing a day is one thing a day and that's an achievement and it's a god-given achievement to be able to do that isn't it so okay so i did try out wet glue with these and then i found that actually this glue is still the best so i am going to arrange them somehow on the side now this could you know not go as smoothly as planned but i definitely have tried it out and it should they should just stick on here now I know this is going to make your planner bulky we don't like the idea I can't understand but I did think it was a really nice use for leftover discs that are maybe not you know they've seen better days that one's got glue on it never mind these are definitely seen better days they used to be in my catch-all and they've had a bit of a battering because my catch-all has a lot of extra it's a bit more extra stuff thrown into it really and it gets quite thick so i put expandable discs on it in the end so yeah i, I think they weren't going to go anywhere probably other than the bin i'm going to use one in a minute to trace around on the other side to get some hearts going so just you know hang on with me here i know this takes a while but i think it's good for you to see that it's actually happening and it's i'm actually getting them on here and they are sticking. I'm not worried about if they're exact. I just want them to look a little bit scattered because I'd still say these white papers weren't that scattered and that's not me. So it's kind of got to be the way that I would normally do things really. Um, okay, feels okay. Um, here. And see, I don't think one there, I actually think one there. I think that could be running out, but I have another one. So we're all right, we won't panic. Oh no, all right. Okay, so they're on. Okay, I'll go over that priority lettering in a minute. But I think that's a good start. So let's move on to the other page that we have so to get some uniformity I will be 
possibly putting some of the pictures of the children on here but for the moment let's get the other side sorted so the one of the one things i want to do is draw around that heart on the inside but i think i might need to get the pictures in situ first and the other thing that i was going to reuse if i can find them was these sticky notes so i like sticky notes but i don't use them very often and I just sat there most of the time the time when i'll use them is like for my monthly um plan so i can see if there's any dates there but actually don't get used very often and i thought they're quite nice circles that i can use alongside these pictures to give it a little bit of variety so i don't think it much matters how this is going to go um i had her as well which is really nice so you can just i just love the joy on these children's faces and you know i know it's a magazine i know it's a promotion you know it's obviously a promotion to help out at christmas time but just how cute they are and i just love it i just yeah i love it okay you might not but i do and we have orphans we support actually not not through this organization but another one and we've been doing it for many many years and we still need to get to go and see them and we were gonna plan it um just before lockdown happened and then of course lockdown happened and the world wasn't a safe place to go anymore and unfortunately i'm not that well i don't even know if i would be able to travel fly kind of thing so who knows we might get to see them one day god willing we will but if not they know who we are so right so i quite like that there i'm thinking that there that there i just need enough space to write like i don't want to be left with not enough space in a catch-all to write so i think that'll be okay so i'm going to use some one of these washi tapes um to make it look like a collage effect my thoughts are probably this this one is the most kind of valentine'sy so let's get these in more tape of course there were some nice pictures either side of the pages as you can see i could have used that one as well that one there and let's just see if we can apologize for all the tape sticking but obviously you have more of that when you're not using stickers you have to do that so i wonder whether that can go kind of like that and that could be a pattern so there is a bit of sticky on the back of these but they're not sticky enough to stay so maybe that can go there and then that there so if you've got old magazines i mean it doesn't have to be pictures of children like i've chosen it could be anything really couldn't it so maybe you've got some old crafting magazines or you've got um like maybe something gets posted through your door which has got interesting nature pictures in i think you can kind of use anything especially if you then back it with something to make it stand out as a picture that you meant to be there kind of thing so if you've got something to go behind it or you've got some washi tape to enhance it i think you can pretty much do anything you like and sometimes i think it's more creative um I, i've made a vow anyway gosh that sounds serious i made a decision anyway that i was going to hold back from buying any more stickers until the spring i think i said april and i've so far i've kept to it it has been hard i've tried not to go on the happy planner website because i know i feel like those would be nice either side of there i've not been on their website i think i did look once and thankfully i didn't really see anything that really got my attention i think a lot of them were more neutral i think and i find it really hard with neutral spreads make sure i do it the right way up oh this one's good Woo, springy um i find it really hard with neutral spreads not because i don't like doing them but i find that when you're filming them and you put them you know you do your thumbnail to put them online because they look more faded for want of a better word 
think I'm going to use one of these again. Then people don't click on it as much. I mean, if they did, they would probably find they really like the spread, but it's all about getting somebody to click, first of all, on your thumbnail. And they're obviously going to be a lot paler and less eye-catching than something that's more dynamic. So, yeah, that's why I don't always go for the more muted, more muted stuff. So I think I put one with sophisticated florals on there. And when... I looked at it across the spread page I quite you know I quite liked it but it was all kind of one tone and it just didn't get the clicks so okay I think we're doing okay um, might not need as many pictures as planned because we need the writing space as well might be that I don't use that one so if you've not found me before um, please subscribe and if you have and you're back then you know how much I appreciate you let's go across like so so as I say I'm just looking for like a collage effect with this so definitely doesn't have to be perfect if anything we don't want it to be too perfect can see that okay it's quite bright but so if you wanted to know this organization is called Kids Alive International. And they have an American branch, they have a UK branch, so um, yeah. They do a lot of trauma informed therapy for children that have suffered abuse, etc. And I'm very much kind of into that with my adoption channel as well, so it fit, fitted. It's not just about you know giving money for me it was about what they do as well so and they're also a christian organization so it was a win-win for me really i think i'll just do that that one i'm sitting here in a strappy top this is the thing about the uk guys the weather is so unpredictable it's not at all it's 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 horrible outside but it's not cold whereas yesterday it was freezing right okay i'm happy with that as a side for the minute but i want to see the two sides together obviously so let's bring the other side back in and let's see if some of these can just you know liven up a little bit and it's not going to don't want that one to cover up the thing so I think just go a little bit further down that's quite sweet just slotting them under I can't do that with this one I don't think no not so much so I'll stick that one in this is the best tape ever this Tombow maxi power tape Oops, upside down. It's bouncing around. I like the bounciness. Right, in we go. Kind of don't want it on there. Right, okay. I will tape them though because they could easily fall out, couldn't they? Right, if I put these two together now. Hopefully, we'll get the effect of how this has gone. So, my feeling is the washi tape, we need some, at least some, somewhere over here, even if it's just intermittent to match the two sides up. Just do a few. And then I'm going to go over that priority with a colour, and I'm not too sure 
what colour to go for so I'll be thinking about that whilst I'm doing this because if I go for red it's going to be too much if I go for pink it might also be too much so uh, possibly green but then that's a big contrast colour or maybe just black I'm still thinking about it I'm just going to pop a couple more of these on So, so far all we've really needed is a roll of washi tape and a few stickers which weren't necessarily needed because you could draw um, and not a lot else the grid dot paper was filler paper the magazine I already had the discs were left over so as you can see it's quite doable and I just want to quickly show you this okay so I might not do this all over the place because I'm not wanting it, I've got enough in the spread but we can do a heart in the middle here maybe put one in here it's quite cute yeah I'll maybe just put one here And definitely have more if I want them but I do want places to write so I'm not gonna go too mad how's that based on that then and that and that I'm gonna go for black up here which I know is an easy choice in a way but um, I don't think you can go too wrong with it either it tends to look a little bit more doodly than if you choose a different color hope you like it so give me a thumbs up if you do subscribe if you haven't and I will see you on the rest of my channel on my various playlists and on my next video thank you for watching plan with Nairi